Welcome to our discussion of Meditation 3. We're now going to discuss two key principles that the thinker believes he discovers using only his intellect. These two key principles are principles that Descartes will say are manifest by the light of nature, which means that with our intellect, we can grasp that they must be true. The first principle I'm going to call the causal principle. And the causal principle says that there must be at least as much reality in a cause as there is in the effect of that cause. So when we think of what causes me to have, for example, an idea of a red flower, whatever is the cause of me having that idea of a red flower must have at least as much reality, either formally or objectively, as the idea of the red flower. And of course, now we know that there are different levels of reality. So we can understand this principle as sort of making sure that there is an adequate amount of reality in the cause to bring about the effect that it's supposed to bring about. And we're going to see that Descartes uses this principle in his proof for the existence of God. One of the ways that he goes on to develop this causal principle is to say that an, an almost direct consequence of it is that you can't get something from nothing because you can never get more reality from less reality. And that's one of the two key principles that we need to consider. The second one doesn't really have a name in the literature, but I'm going to call it the source of ideas principle. And this principle says that the cause of an idea must ultimately be a non-idea. What this principle says is, if I think about what causes an idea, it might be the case that what caused one idea was a second idea, and what caused that second idea was a third idea, and what caused that third idea was a fourth idea, and so on. But Descartes says in Meditation 3, the chain of causes of ideas can't go on forever. Eventually, we have to reach a first idea that was caused by something that isn't itself an idea. Now, what that something or other is, we don't know. We just know that it isn't an idea. And so for Descartes, what this is eventually going to do is require that something that has a certain amount of formal reality is what's causing things that have objective reality. It has to be a non-idea, something that actually exists that causes the first idea in a long chain of ideas. And now we're going to turn next to seeing how these two principles together combine for Descartes in his proof for the existence of God.